Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Yo, I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. Make sure y'all follow my IG, like, and hit that bell, man. Show your boy some love. I greatly appreciate you. So I had a Patreon hit me up and said that he's been struggling with addictions. Right, he was on his path. He was doing good. Everything was smooth. Then he met up with some bad company, Temptations. Now all of a sudden he's back in his toxic ways and practicing bad habits again. So I want to talk to you guys about the price you pay for lack of discipline. If you do not have discipline, if you do not have some type of structure in your life, in your everyday life, you will pay a heavy cost. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. And you know, I'm speaking from experience. Dante Young is not perfect. I've been through this guys. This is why I can come on camera and talk to y'all so freely. Because I want you guys to learn from my experience. So that you don't have to make the same mistakes. And that you can be better. You can be a step ahead. You feel what I'm saying? So, when I didn't have discipline in my life, you know, years ago. I didn't know what I wanted out of life. I didn't know my purpose. I had nothing as, as far as a foundation set up to guide me in my life. It impacted me in every aspect, my health, my finances, my relationships, my peace of mind, all around across the board, man, I was impacted by this. And it wasn't until I started making micro changes in my life that I was able to come up out of that and become a better version of myself. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all this. One thing you never wanna do when you fall back or you make mistakes is you never wanna beat yourself down. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so negative towards yourself because this is a journey, right? And with the journey comes good and bad. And you gotta take both as they come. If you just had everything good, good, good all the time on your journey, you would never appreciate it anymore. So sometimes you gotta fall back into a low moment so that you learn the power of gratitude, appreciating what you have and where you're at and where you're going. Like the old saying goes, you don't appreciate a good thing until it's gone. And that's facts. Y'all yeah, remember back in 2020 when everybody was buying up toilet tissue, toilet paper, and you could hardly find none. You go to every store and they all out, they out of stock. In those moments, boy, you appreciated some toilet tissue, right? You know, you appreciated it, but before then, it didn't have any value to you because it was abundant. So what you got to understand is, is that sometimes you got to be knocked down a little bit because the universe has to show you like, hey, you know, you need to show more gratitude for where you're at and what you have. So an important thing is always showing gratitude. Even if you feel like you are in a place where you fell back, you still want to show gratitude for what you have in that moment because you can always find something to be thankful for. Okay, you got to switch your mindset first, build yourself up. And then from there, it's all about making micro changes in your life. Okay, what can I do right now to change or get out of this loop that I'm in? What can I do right now? You know, it's that simple. Discipline comes from doing things over and over again. You practice, you exercise, right? You go to the gym three, four times a week. Why? to exercise that muscle so it'll grow and get stronger. So you do reps, repetition, consistency. And then over time, you see your body start to grow. You see your body start to change. Your aesthetics start to look sexy because you are exercising, being consistent and putting in the work. Well, that goes all around across the board. That goes for everything that you do. You gotta put the work in, you gotta exercise. One thing that I like to do is I always like to write down anything that I'm going through in my head, anything that I'm thinking or feeling like I like to write it down. That way I can see it. I can see my thoughts. OK, and then from there, I can sort them out, you know, asking myself, how do I feel right now? I'm asking myself, you know, am I happy? What do I want out of life? Where do I want to go? And, and when you when you write these questions down and you're able to answer them, not only does it 
does it release a lot of pressure and a lot of energy that you had inside you but it also frees up your mind to be able to receive new energy and then from there you write down a task list you know what do i need to do today what can i change in my daily routine today that'll help me get up out this hole and that's what it, that's where it starts just you know if you're going through something right now today just say today i'm going to eat healthier I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna buy some healthier food so I can save money. I need to save money. Let me let me go, instead of me eating out every day, every other day, let me go to the grocery store, shop, get me some produce, give me some good protein and start learning how to cook, right? See, now, now you're starting to grow already just by you doing that because now you're learning a new skill. Cooking is a skill, you know? Start looking up new recipes on how to make your food taste better. See, now now, now we're self-improving. Now we're changing our daily routine because now you're starting to save money. You're, you're eating better. You're learning a new skill, how to cook, different recipes, which now is going to improve your health. Right? You know, say, hey, today I'm going to go work out. I'm going to go work out for 30 minutes a day. Right? Go work out for 30 minutes. Next thing you know, look, I didn't did all this today. All this today I didn't did. I didn't went shopping. I didn't save some money. I didn't go out to eat. I went to the gym. I worked out for 30 minutes. Boom, now you're on a positive wave. And then the discipline comes in is doing that same thing tomorrow. Can you get up and do the same thing tomorrow? That's, that's all it is. You know, do what works for you. Right, I'm just giving you guys an example of, of just how the breadcrumbs, they lead to success. They lead to you becoming a better version, just the little things and how they tie in with each other. But you gotta do what's best for you, right? And like I say, write down your goals, write down your daily task list so that you can cross them off. You can physically see yourself crossing your goals off. That's what you gotta do, right? Remember, everything is energy. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to detach from those habits because those habits have an energy attached to them that you are bonded to. So you're, you're cutting the cord and you cut the cord by reattaching to other things. Make sure that you be careful with the company that you keep. If you got people in your circle that's pulling you back down to bad habits based off of temptation, you need to cut the cord. You need to isolate yourself so that you can get yourself back on your path. Remember, the, the journey of spiritual enlightenment and awareness is a lonely path. You can only take this path by yourself. Right? Nobody else can join you. You have to find yourself first. Everything that we encounter in our life is all about finding yourself. That's what it comes down to. And we go through different experiences to test us. To test us and to help our spirit grow. Okay, so remember, it's a spiritual journey first, always and forever. We just experience it through the physical. So I want you guys to understand this, man. Don't beat yourself up. Start taking steps to get yourself out of your situation. Because for every problem, there's always a solution. You just got to take time out to find it. Be patient with yourself. Be cool, calm, and collected. And handle your business. Retain Gang, this your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or what y'all would like me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>